What's up guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to properly apply your favorite fragrance. Whether that's for longevity or projection or overall performance, this video should be an in-depth breakdown of where and why you should spray in these places. So let's break it down. So there's a few variables when it comes to putting on a fragrance, how many sprays and stuff like that. All of that is going to be extremely relative to the atomizer and the strength of the fragrance. But for general reference, in the actual bottle of the fragrance, so in a bottle like this, not any decants or samples, I would suggest for weaker fragrances, you can do about seven or more sprays. Anything that's a medium strength, five to seven sprays, and then anything that's a stronger fragrance, you shouldn't need any more than three sprays. So I'm going to show you where and how to apply the fragrance. Now let's say you're picking a weaker fragrance and you're spraying for the best overall performance. You're gonna spray seven sprays, assuming you may spray more or less, doesn't matter. Here's what you're gonna do. The first two sprays, I would go left and right side of the neck. The third spray, I would go on the back of the neck. On the fourth and fifth sprays, this was going to heavily depend, but I would go on the elbow creases of your right and left arm, and then if you go those last two sprays, it's going to be in your upper chest or shoulder area. That's going to be my seven sprays for the weaker fragrances. If I pick a medium strength fragrance, I'm going to adjust it a little bit by going one, two, on the neck, three on the back of the neck, four and five in the elbow creases. Most likely that's how it's going to generally be for me. I may adjust it sometimes, put it in the chest region or the shoulder region for four and five, but that's generally how it's going to look. For a strong fragrance, oftentimes I only use two sprays and those two sprays I'm going to do half versions of themselves. So it's going to be two sprays spread out throughout the same areas, being one and two on the neck, one on the back, and then the last spray somewhere in the middle chest region. And that is going to be the areas that I spray the most on average on fragrances. But there's a couple of variables that may change this. Things are gonna adjust a bit if you want pure longevity versus projection. If you want projection, most of your sprays if not all of your sprays should be directly on skin because the heat of your skin will give off a stronger projection. So you're gonna go the same spots, one, two, three on the neck, being the back, left, and right, one, two on the elbow creases. And then if you wanna go any more, you would just double layer. In my opinion, I would double layer on some spots of the neck. Now that's contrary to popular, popular belief. Some people will never do that, but that's just how I like to do it. If you're going for pure longevity, what you are going to do is spray more on your clothes. Now, make sure that you're not wearing too light of a clothing or just back up when you're spraying. And you're gonna do the same thing, always doing the two on the neck, one, two on the left and right side. Then you're going to do the rest of your sprays somewhere on your clothes, being in the right shoulder, left shoulder, chest area. And then most people like to go just randomly, but honestly, that's kind of where I stop when it comes to clothing. If you're wearing a jacket, you can spray on the uh, outside or inside of your jacket just to keep the spray or the smell on a little bit longer. Now, let's say you decide to wear a collared shirt. If you're wearing a collared shirt, you're gonna do the same thing, but instead of spraying directly on your neck, I would just suggest spraying it on your collar when it comes to spraying it on the back. The first two sprays can still be right side, left side, neck, or if you want to put it on your collar, that'll be great. That'll increase the longevity of your fragrance. It'll slightly decrease the projection, but overall, performance may be better for some cases. You can kind of just play around with this if you want to go all skin or all clothes, that's fine. But what if you wanted to add a blazer on top of that? So now you have a collared shirt and a jacket basically over your clothing. Now what you're going to do is going to spray the first two sprays on your uh, blazer itself in the upper left and upper right chest region. This is going to be the closest spot to most people's noses unless you are just an abnormally tall person. Then I would suggest spraying those next few sprays on your clothes itself. So you're going to do two on the blazer and then if you do any more than two you're going to go one on the collar of the shirt one on the second side collar of the shirt, and then in the upper chest region of the shirt as well. So that'll be six total sprays. If you wanna go one more on the back of the collar shirt, that'll give you seven sprays. And that is what the general areas of where I would apply fragrances. Now all you need is to maybe put on a tie, get yourself a good watch, and you smell good, and you're ready to go on a date. So guys, that is, in my opinion, how to apply fragrances. Now, you can definitely change this up. Some people are not comfortable with spraying fragrances on their skin. If you're picking higher quality fragrances, you should not really have much of an issue, and it's actually recommended that you spray it directly on skin. But if not, 
Spraying on clothes is okay. Just be careful because some perfumes uh, concentrations are so high that they will stain your clothes if you are not far enough back. So just keep that in mind when it comes to spraying fragrances. Always keep in mind as well that the sweating of your fragrance will, or sweating of your body will also decrease the longevity of your fragrances. This is why I give a good mix of spraying on your clothes and on your skin because then it'll kind of negate that effect. So guys, always keep those things in mind and you should be good to go. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to drop a like and subscribe. If you disagree, leave a comment if why you disagree or what you would change or suggest. I am definitely open to suggestions. I am not saying my way is the best way, but it's just what works for me. That's all I have for you guys. I'll see you in the next one.